Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best OBS streaming settings for 2020 on the latest version of OBS. And if you're looking for a recording settings guide, um, this is not the video, this is a streaming settings video, but do check the link in the description below because I've already uploaded that video uh, just a couple of months ago. But anyways, before getting started, please drop a comment below saying who your favorite streamer is to watch. I've been looking for more streamers to watch in my free time, so feel free to drop some names below. Also drop a like on the video if it does help you out. There's other people out there looking for the best streaming settings as well. So getting good feedback on this video will definitely help them find it. Anyways, let's finally jump in to the video. So before opening up OBS, there are actually two things that we want to get done. The first one is to go here and search for game mode settings. And once you do that, just tap enter. And what you want to do here is just make sure that game mode is on. OBS tends to run better with this on, so just try it out for yourself and see how it goes. Now, next, what we want to do is go to a website called speedtest.net. I should have it on the screen right now. Um, and we want to go here because we want to test our internet connection and see what our upload speed is. If you can, definitely run it using an ethernet cable for better results. And what we really care about for streaming is going to be our upload speed. So keep this number in your head because we will use it later on in the video. If you have anything above three or four, you should be good to go. But anyways, once you do have your upload speed in your head, just open up OBS. So this isn't going to be a video on like how to set up your scenes and sources and add like cool animations for your stream. It's literally just going to be like the best streaming settings to have a good quality stream overall. But if you guys do want that video in the future, like how to have cool animations, how to set up a face cam and all that good stuff, just let me know in the comments below. But anyways, once you are on OBS, head over to the settings and then from there, go to the video tab. So right away, we're going to have four things that we're able to like play around with. And the first one is going to be your base canvas resolution. Now, this is the resolution that your computer screen is. And if you don't know what that is already, like mine is 2560 x 1440. Um, all you have to do is just right click on anywhere on your desktop and then go to the display settings. From there, you're going to see a new window open up. Make sure that you're selecting on the first one right here. Scroll down and you will see scale and layout. From there, you're going to see the display resolution. As you can see, mine is 2560 x 1440. For most of you guys, it's probably going to be 1920x1080, which is going to be uh, this one right here. So anyways, once you do have like what your display resolution is, you can close out of this and just set that as your base canvas resolution. So mine's already set to 2560x1440, but if yours is different, just click this little arrow right here and select it from the options available. And if yours doesn't show up in the options available, you can actually literally just backspace everything in here and just type it in manually. We're going to actually quickly skip the uh, two in the middle and just move on to the FPS. Um, make sure that this is set to common FPS values. And if you have your upload speed, which is the thing I told you to remember before, um, if it's between three and four, then please just change this to 30 FPS. Um, but if you have any anything above three or four, then you can just leave this at 60 and you should be good to go. Also make sure that your downscale filter is the same as the one that I have right here, the one that is 36 samples. All right, cool. So now that we've gotten those three out of the way, all we have left is our upload scaled resolution. And this is actually going to be the max quality that you'll be streaming in. So um, if your upload speed is anything above eight, and you have a good computer too, then you can definitely do 1920x1080 here. Um, you should do 1280x720 here if you have any of the following. So number one, if you have a good upload speed but like an average computer, then you should definitely do 1280x720. Um, two, if you have an upload speed between four or six, um, then you should also definitely do 1280x720. Then lastly, if you stream on Twitch but just are not a Twitch partner yet, then you should also do 1280x720. And the reason why I brought that last one up is because when you're not a Twitch partner, your viewers actually don't have the option to select what quality they want to watch your stream in. Um, and if they don't have a good internet connection, they're probably going to lag while trying to watch your stream if it's in 1080p. And I see this happen all the time with streamers who stream in 1080p, but their viewers are watching from like their iPhone or like their Android phone or whatever. Like sometimes the internet connection is just not good enough to load a 1080p stream. So it's not going to be a good experience for the viewer. And I'm going to be completely honest. It really doesn't matter where you stream. A lot of people who have a good computer, a good internet connection, all that stuff, they still stream in 1280x720. Anyways, from there, just hit apply and then go to the output tab. If you want an easy setup right away, just change the output mode from advanced to simple, and we can get started from the streaming settings right here. The first thing that you want to do is just match your video bitrate with what I have on the screen right now for your upload speed. Um, one personal tip that I do have for you guys is just never go above 6,000. Twitch itself doesn't even allow it, but I think YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer do. Uh, but again, like I said before, I really don't think it's necessary. Like I myself, I stream perfect 1080p streams at 4,500 bitrate, even though my upload speed is above 10. So just use that information and just do the best that you can with that. Uh, like with your upload speed, your computer, and all that good stuff. Now, for your encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, always select the option that says NVENC. That's the 100% best option for you if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. But if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, if, or you just don't even see that option right there, just select Software X264 and you should be good to go. You can leave your audio bitrate at 160, but you do want to make sure that you enable advanced encoder settings right here. Now, if you selected this one for your encoder, then leaving your encoder preset on quality should be good for probably all of you. Change it to max quality if you have an RTX graphics card or like a 1080 Ti or really just like one of the high-end graphics cards from Nvidia. 
make a performance if you have anything below a GTX 1060, so like a um, 1050, a 970, or things like that. But I really do think quality should work well enough for just about anyone who has like a 1070 or above. And on the chance that you guys don't have the NVENC option available and you have to use X264, all I recommend here for your encoder preset is just using either very fast or faster. And I recommend those two because the first two right here are going to have a low quality stream and then the bottom like three right here, they're just going to cause your PC to like slow down a bit and that's really not worth it. So for you, I'd either pick very fast or faster, but I do have an Nvidia graphics card, so I'll pick that, leave it at quality and then hit apply and I should be good to go. But I'm guessing the reason you guys even clicked on this video to begin with is because you guys wanted the advanced settings, like the best settings for OBS. So to get that, just change your output mode to, from simple to advanced, and then we can get started. So same thing, if you have the um, NVENC option right here, please just select that. It's going to be way better than X264. But if you only have X264, then we'll come back to that in a second. But if you only have that, of course, that's what you're going to have to select. So I'll click NVENC right here. Make sure that you do have enforced streaming service encoder settings checked. You do not have to rescale output. You don't have to check this right here because we already did it in the video tab right here. From there, moving on from that, we have our rate control. Leave this at CBR. And moving on from that, we have bitrate, which should be the same as the chart I showed you before during these simple settings. Just never go above 6,000. It's literally not needed. Um, only some streaming pl platforms even allow you to do that, like YouTube. But even then, it's not needed. I still stream at like 4,500 because the quality still looks perfect for me and the viewer. And I'm streaming at 1080p at 4,500. So if I can do that, you can definitely do that as well. For the preset, like I said before, if you have an NVIDIA card, just leaving this on quality should be okay. So I can click out of that, leave your profile on high. You can leave look ahead unchecked, but make sure that you have psycho visual tuning checked, have your GPU on zero, and then your max B frames on two. From there, we can hit apply and you should be good to go. And like I said before, I do want to show some love to the people who don't have the NVIDIA cards. So click this, go to X264, and only do this option if you have to. Again, like I said, if you have the NVIDIA option, please select it. If you don't, then click X264 and uh, you should be good to go from there. Okay, so now that we're on X264, just make sure that enforced streaming service encoder settings are checked. Um, you don't have free skill output. Like I said before, we did that in the video tab right here. Same thing for rate control, just make it CBR. Bitrate should be the exact same as what I showed you before. Again, you just literally never have to go past 6,000. It's not needed. Only some streaming platforms even allow it to begin with. Uh, but like I said before, I personally stream at 4,500 and if I can do that, so can you. And I stream in like perfect 1080p while I'm streaming too. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, anyways, after that, keyframe interval, keep this at two. Uh, CPU usage preset, just keep this anywhere between very fast, faster, fast, and medium. Um, I'll just leave that like faster or something like that. For your profile, make this main. And that's literally it for this part. You can just hit apply and you should be good to go. Um, using X264 actually uses your processor to actually do the encoding for your stream. If you use um, the NVIDIA option right here, then it's going to use your graphics card to do the encoding for your stream instead. All right, cool. So I just quickly changed the settings up to like make them work a bit more with like my own computer. Um, so anyways, from there, we can go on to the audio tab right here. Uh, leave the sample rate the same, channels the same. Your desktop audio, just make this where you actually hear the sound in your computer. So if you have like a headset, select it right here. If you have a speaker system or something, select it here. So this, like the interface thing that we have selected right here, like this is how I hear sound on my computer. You'll probably know what it is like by yourself. Like if you have like an Astro headset you'll probably see it here if you have like a HyperX headset you'll probably see that here stuff like that so it's pretty self-explanatory you can leave the second one disabled and then for your mic auxiliary audio just like what your microphone is so I have a Yeti stereo microphone but if you have like your headset microphone you'll probably see the option right here and things like that so just like whatever works for your computer we're probably both gonna have completely different things right here and that's totally okay I'll leave everything else disabled you can leave everything else the same as me and you should be able to go from there hit apply and then all we want to do from there is just move on to the stream tab I'm um, right here just like what service you stream on you probably already have this set up uh, with your own streaming service if you stream on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, whatever. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just like search up like whatever streaming service you use. Uh, the cool thing about Twitch though is that it actually just lets you sign in directly and it just like saves you a bunch of time. Uh, but if you use like YouTube, you'll just have to go and find your stream key, which you can find like just by doing a Google search for YouTube stream key and you'll probably see a website for that and you can get it for your account. Type it in here, hit apply and you should be good to go from there. But uh, this is the streaming settings video. You guys looked it up so you probably already know how to do this part. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. Anyways, moving on from that, we have our advanced tab. From here, just make sure that this is set to uh, Direct 3D 11. This is set to NV12, color space is set to 709, and then color range is set to full. So make sure those are all the same. From there, hit apply and you should be good to go. Um, another cool thing about the advanced tab is if you do wanna add like a stream delay for like stream sniping and things like that, you can hit enable right here and just add a second delay of how long you want the stream delay to be, or stream delay to be, and then you should be good to go. Um, I'm not gonna do that. From there, I can just hit apply and it really should be good to go from there. Um, so yeah, that's really it for the video guys. If you guys do want to learn more about streaming, growing your stream, growing your YouTube channel, growing your online brand and things like that, definitely check out my channel. I make tons of videos about all that good stuff and I also make videos about 
tech tutorials like how to increase your FPS and things like that. So if that interests you at all, definitely check out my channel. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you did so we can help other people find this video. And yeah, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.